you know what? I'm not Muslim. I'm not none of that. Oh, that's all praise to the Most High. We... I'm just a child of God. I don't. Get okay, well, let, let me ask you a question, then, sis. Did your ancestors come over here on a slave boat? I don't know nothing about my ancestors. You don't. Know, that's a curse. I'm Bridget. Huh? I'm Bridget. You're Bridget. Nice to meet you. Let us show you that because you don't know your ancestors, that's showing us that you most likely are an Israelite. Let us show you that. Let us show you that, sis. I already know I am. You already know you're Israelite? Okay, so if you were Israelite then, sis, let me ask you a question. If you were Israelite, what are we what makes us what's so special about being an Israelite? Let me give Romans three and one by the shot. Three is it three and one? Romans what? Romans three and one. I'm just gonna show you something. What's so special about being an Israelite? Um, can you give me a, can you give me um, uh, I got Romans 3 and 1, Exodus 4 and 22. Let me show you, sis. Check this out. Romans 3 and 1. What advantage then have the Jew? Did you hear the question, sis? Yeah, I heard you. Listen, 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 check it out. What advantage then have the Jew? Paul is asking, what advantage is there to being a Jew? Because most likely you're a Jew, right? Check this out, sis. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Or what's, what's, what's so good about having a covenant with the Most High God, right? Check this out. Much every way. Much in every way, sis. We got an advantage over all these nations in every way. Did you understand that? Oh, yeah. Hold up. That's, that's, that's for sure. Much in every, yeah, much in every way. Come on. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. The oracles of God were committed unto the Jews, sis. Unto the Israelites, right? That's what's so special about being an Israelite. Check this out. Thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thou, thou Lord, Israel is my son, my firstborn. Say it one more time. And thou, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, that thou say that Lord Israel is my son, my firstborn. The Bible says Israel is his son, even his firstborn, the water God. Israel is God's son, even his firstborn. Sister, check this out. Israel is the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and the Native Americans, right? The Native American Indians. Those are Israelites. If you, if your daddy was a, either a Native American, a, 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 a Negro, or a Hispanic of, of Negro or an indigenous descent, you're an Israelite. That's right. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 12 tribe of Israel. You know what you got to do, sister, as an Israelite? Huh? You know what you got to do as an Israelite? Bible tells us what we have to do once we find out we're Israelites. Let me show you real quick too what the Bible says, because we do everything according to scripture, the scripture. So we want to show it so you see it coming from the Most High's mouth and not our mouth, right? Because that's something we have to do once we find out that we are Israelites, right? chapter 12 verse number uh, 13 let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear the Lord and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man this is the whole duty sis that we got to keep the commandments of the most high right you know today is is the Shabbat it's the Lord's day did you know that sis what's the is exactly, right. sis. Exactly. Oh, it does. It does, though, sis. That's what. That's what we're trying to take. It does. So it says Saturday. Is that's what you're saying? Uh -huh. It says Saturday. If you can show me that, then you might be on the okay. side. It don't say Saturday. Well, let me ask you a question, sis. Why are you getting that? Let me ask you a question. Why would he tell us to keep it holy and then just say we don't? We got to figure it out. He gives us look, sis. He gives us the moon. You know what I mean? To determine the months, right? And, and let us let us let's get in uh I get in Genesis. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, what is that? Two? Two, yeah. I know exactly what Genesis 2 is talking about today. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's check that. I see what you're saying. That's what I had a discussion about because it never specifies Saturday or Sunday. I feel like if you take a day and you make it more Genesis 2 and 2. Let us see. Let me show you. Let's show you. This is the book of Genesis 2 and 2. And on the seventh day. Which day? On the seventh, on the seventh day. day. So you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't say Saturday. It That's, does not say Sunday. It says on the seventh day. 
that's right. So let me let me ask you a question. Okay, so this is how we determine the se the seventh day too. This is how some brothers determine the seventh day. Now we kind of keep it plain because let me show you because um, we kind of keep it plain because that's what we determine. You know what I mean? How, how the work week and we're in captivity and everything. But this is how you do it. understand it um yeah, on. uh on precepts uh it's Iraq. what is it Cyrac teacher that you was an Israelite at that church? Are you very? Why? But the Israelites are the most, we just read Israel is my son, even my firstborn. So, so why do you, what do you, why do you spend your time in a church building, sis? Tradition. The traditions of men, right? Yeah. And let me get this moon precept for you, sis. This is No doubt, sis. Well, look, 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 look. Come to the truth, oh, check this out. This is uh, Isaiah 29, 13. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me and their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. That's a great one. The fear of the Lord is taught by the precepts of men. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, men are teaching you how to fear the Lord. In them church buildings, they should be, the, the first thing they should be taught to be well, what's the fear of the Lord? The fear of the Lord. What is the fear of the Lord? The Bible tells us everything. We can even show you here. Christ never entered a church building. Right. And, and, and so, so we are, we are the, uh, we are the church. He did enter synagogues, but like, like he's saying, he didn't go to no Christianity church. He didn't teach Christianity. You know what I mean? But you go to, you go to, you go to, you just said that you do traditions. I do. I do. I right. do. Religion. 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 We're going to show you what that means. Check this out. What's funny about this is you're still man doing the same thing. What you're doing right now is the same thing they're doing. No, 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 they ain't sister because we're going to show you why it's not. They use the Bible too. No, they don't. They don't use the Bible for their message. Sis, you just. We, we just asked, I just asked you one thing. I said, do you know what the fear of God is? And do you know what the truth is? But we want to show you towards the Bible. We're not speaking it ourselves and not showing you. I want you to see it for yourself. No, we, let, let me show you what the truth is. This is the truth. This is what Christ said when he said the truth shall set you free. This is what he, the truth is according to the Bible. Now, this is the book of uh, Psalm chapter 119 and verse number 142. 
your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and your law is the truth so you know what the truth is sis? he just said it. your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and your law is the truth so you know what the truth is now sis guess what it is he just said it it's the what the law of the most high that's the truth that's what Yahweh Shah was saying when he said it should set you free. Because we won't be living by man's precepts anymore, sis. We'll come back to the laws and we'll understand, hey, man, that's what's going to break it off of us. That's what's going to break all that man tradition, paganism off our minds and stuff, man. Right? When we keep the laws. Christ kept the law. Christ never done away with the law. Never. We, when Christ and the disciples were walking the earth, they wasn't reading from the New Testament. They was pulling all old manuscripts from the old prophets and stuff. They don't, they don't teach that in these churches and stuff. Do you keep the law, sis? Sis, okay, check this out. But remember he said the truth shall set you free. We just showed you what the truth is. The Bible, it, it explains itself. The law of God is the truth. Do you keep God's laws is what we ask. I follow the Bible and the commandments to live righteously. It's the only thing I can tell you. Okay, that's Okay, sis. Can, hey, sis. Do you know? Do you know what the will of the Father is? The will of God is. I'll show you that. I'll let the Bible, sis. You know, we're gonna keep going to the Bible because we want to show you we're not leaning on our own private interpretation. We just showing. Watch this. This is Isaiah forty, and I start at verse seven. It says, "Then say I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book." It is written of me. Verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thou law is within my heart. His will is the His law. His will is the law, sister. Do, uh, so uh, by us asking you this, we're showing you that the Bible, the Old and New Testament prophets, they always reverted back to the law. When you go to church, they tell you that Jesus did away with the law. You ain't got to keep it. Let me ask you a question. Okay, so you eat, do you eat, do you eat pork? No, I don't. You don't eat pork? I don't eat meat. You don't eat meat? Okay, not shrimp, crab, lobster, none of that. I eat shrimp and fish. Okay, that's a sin, sis. That's what we're talking about, the law. That's a sin. Let us read it for you. Let us show you. Let's get Leviticus. Let us show you. Because, like we said, the truth, meaning the law, will set you free, sis. When you start keeping the laws of God, the white man can't enslave us. We Unclean, yeah. We want to show you. Adonai, come get the come get the chart, guys. Where fish? We can eat fish. We gonna show you. No, you said shrimp. I said fish. Do you eat? Well, let's let us show. You got fish or shrimp in the car? Just sis, let me show you what you need to do with that. Let us let us let us show you what the Bible said, not us. Well, get the money. Do you want to go to heaven? Do you want to go to heaven, sis? Now look, look, look. We tell we tell to you straight up, sis. Listen, do you want to go to the kingdom of heaven? Let me stop doing talking. Let, let us show you. Let me just read on down. Real quick. We are all sinners and fall short of the glory of God. That's not true, sis. If I'm going to go to hell to eat a piece of shrimp, so why not go? We're going to show you. We're going to show you. We're going to show you what the Bible says. Come on. Let me just listen to this. Watch this. I'm going to start at 11. Uh, uh, Leviticus 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divided the hoof. You know what swine is, right? And he uh, cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. So the pig is unclean, but can't eat no pork. You don't eat meat good. That's right. That's right. Good job. That's right. That's right. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Now we're talking about the waters. Hey, come on out here and build with us. You, come on. You, you get a chance. Come on out here and learn. I, I see you hustling. Come on out here when you get a chance. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters. Whatever got fins and scales in the water, sis. You know what got fins and scales in the water? Fish, right? Come on. In the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. We can eat fish. It got fins and scales. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas. If it don't got fins and scales like a clam, shrimp, 
and in the rivers Catfish. of all that move in the waters huh? and of any living thing which is in the waters, right. they shall be an abomination unto you. Says, do you know what abomination is? The Lord say he hated with a passion. It should be a, a hatred to you. That shrimp in your back seat should get thrown on the highway somewhere, sis. Let's let, let us give, let her, let us give her um, uh, gen, uh, 66 to 10. Isaiah. Say it again, sis. One more time, sis. Well, you know better, you do better. You know better. So, so, so the goal is to die every day. So now that I know that, after I die tonight when I wake up. You not go, no you more, no you more shrimp, shrimp then. No so more let, shrimp. Let us see. Let us check this out. No more shrimp. No after more shrimp. I cook this and eat it because I just fall. Okay. okay. Check this out, sister. This is uh, Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slaying of the Lord shall be many. The Lord going to kill a bunch of people. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst eating swine's flesh. They eating pork. Huh? In the abomination. In the, in, oh, sorry, sorry. in the abomination. What was an abomination we just read it to you, sis? Just read it. What was the abominations? The shrimp. We just there read it go. to you. That's, a, that's an abomination, right? Come on. In the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. The Lord said he's going to kill all them together. You understand? Sis. Okay, well, check this out. Bad, my bad. I know I'm moving a little fast, but I want to show you something, sis, because that's that's we passionate about this thing. You gotta check this out. This is Sirach chapter five and verse number four. It says, uh, "Oh, you got the Bible? You in Israel? Why don't you wake up? Oh, baby, I'm Christianity is white supremacy. Check this out, sis. Sirach five and four." It says, say not, I have sinned, and what harm hath happened to me? For the Lord is long-suffering. He will in no wise let you go. Sis, he's long-suffering, but you won't pay for your sin. Dude, that's it. Listen, listen, check this out. Listen, sis, concerning propitiation, right? He said, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Just because I already sinned don't mean I'm going to keep, I just keep on doing it. So he said, don't be afraid because look, sis, sis, you know, people right, right over here, it's, it's millions of ways you can get killed. Millions of ways, billions of ways the Lord can kill you. Did you know that he do all the killing? The Lord signs off on death. Did you know that? Okay, so if you got death in your car, sis, you got to get that far away from you or you don't love the Lord. Can you give me, do, uh, yeah, Hebrews 10, and I was going to get a uh, Proverbs 28 and 9 at a night. That's not what you just said. Actually. What? What? It, what's not real? That that's, that's what the Bible says. Since I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I understand that you gotta take Probably. it to the. You have to take it to the. I'm just saying, you're teaching especially. A lot of people don't know those things, so to sit there and say you don't love the Lord, that's kind of harsh. Do you know somebody somebody like me who loves the Lord? I but you, you know what? No. So. Oh, so you say you, you said you wake, you said you waking up every day, right? Yeah, you so, wake up every day. So this day. is this this is another a, day a, for you to learn. Hey. You have to learn every day. Right, right. Sis, can I ask you something? But you, that doesn't mean I don't love the Lord. I just you, didn't you say know. you you say you love the Lord, right, sis? Do you, do you know what love is according to the Bible? It's a lot of things in the Bible that talks about. Okay, can we show you what love is according to the Bible? Because everything's in here. Everything you say is in here. Okay, let's see what love is according to the Bible. That's what love is. Yeah. Out. This is the book of First John, chapter five, verse number two. By this we know that we love the children of God uh -huh. when we love God and keep His commandments. Uh -huh. exactly. For this is the love of God what? that we keep His commandments. This is the love of God that we keep His commandments. Love, sis. That was one of the first things I said when I walked up. You know, you. But if you got shrimp in your, in your you're not keeping the commandments. Steady going back to the shrimp. But you can't eat it. Sense, you can't I eat it. Listen, I understand that now. Don't mean I don't love the Lord. So going forward. Like I said, it was something that you learn. And when people get to know God in his ways, they are learning that. They this, have to debunk everything that they have been taught. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby do we know that we know him. 
if we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. That's what runs Hold on, sis. Say. Check it out. Don't talk like that. Don't this is what, I'm going to show you what the Bible says, sis. I understand what you're saying, but listen to me. He that saith, I know him, and keep not his commandments, no, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Sis, this is love over here. Way. I'm just showing you what the Bible says. If you love God, you'll keep his commandments, sis. No more shrimp. Crab lobster. Yeah.